<laughs> Greetings, folks. <laughs> Dice Kitty here. Sorry, we're having a goofy moment. Uh, Mr. DDK is here with me uh, for probably his first board game unboxing. It's true. Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, before we get going, make sure you talk loud. I will try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, so today we've got Call to Adventure. This is by Brotherwise Games. Uh, Chris and Johnny O'Neill designed this. Uh, there was a successful Kickstarter. Brandon Sanderson Stormlight is one of the uh, expansions that's going to be coming out. Also, really excited about this, uh, Patrick Rothfuss has teamed up with them to do a Call to Adventure Name of the Wind expansion. So not only will we have Name of the Wind, but we will also have Stormlight by Brandon Sanderson. So that's cool. I mean, who could ask for something more than, you know, great epic fantasy novels in great epic fantasy games. So, all right, now we are gonna unbox this. We've only seen pictures of the components and other things in it. I have not seen anything. I'm going into this completely fresh. <laughs> Well, I, I've done a little bit of digging on it because I wanted to see some stuff before I unboxed it. I didn't want to be totally shocked. I wanted the full feel. <laughs> All right. So, let's check this out here. Pretty thick box. Yep. Uh, does not look like a very daunting rule book, oh, which is good. It has very big text. Yeah, so it's easy to read. All right. Oh, I love the smell. I know, the new new mm. cardboard smell. These look like player boards. They do. Which I didn't see on any of the videos or anything. And they're nice and sturdy player boards. And this is where you put your, uh, your hero's uh, cards that start their destiny, basically the path to their destiny. So that's cool, and I'm glad that it has... Uh, uh, player reference down here for what the things mean on the runes. Yeah. That's fantastic. Player aids. Great. Love player aids. I like it. Yeah, I like the player boards. Like I said, that's a surprise to me. I didn't know about those. Oh. Uh, those, some kind of... those. These are the experience tokens. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the, you know, they're packaged nicely and they're little plastic diamond shaped uh, tokens. So I love that they're not cardboard. Token tokens. Yeah. All right. Do you want to sure. start by unwrapping that there? Score pad. Now I did notice when I was looking at like the how to play video that uh, there is quite a bit of in-depth scoring. So yay, score pads. Thank you. This is great. I love score pads. They're very helpful. Aha. Uh -huh. Here's. The different packs of cards here. Now these are uh, the different. Uh, oh, I've already forgotten what they were called. Shame on me. Uh, different acts or stages in your hero's life. So that's what those are, and they are tucked away nice and neatly up under the runes. I'm being brutally defeated here. Ha <laughs> ha Victory! I was gonna say we have a knife. I would yeah. trust myself with it. Yeah. Get a little slash happy. Okay, so the runes have a plastic lid that covers them, and they have a tray, oh. which is nice. These are what Ooh. I wanted to see. This is not a dice game. Thank you. I'm sick of dice games. Um, yeah. I like dice games. I do too, but I don't... I, I'm inundated with dice games. That's, this, this that's is different, though. Yeah, I like the rune aspect, but they're plastic runes and I love the <laughs> I love the sound wait, they wait, make. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to do this totally fresh. Do we get to throw the runes? Yes. Like basically yes. cast the runes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. So these are these are nice little runes. I like them. They're definitely <laughs> sturdy. I mean and they they're colorful and they have easy to read uh, symbols on them. They're not, you know, like you're not going to get confused very easily. Oh, here are the little markers that 
go for your, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's like to tell whether you're basically a good guy or a villain type uh, of thing. If if, yeah, an anti-hero uh, or... Uh, well, it tracks on this side right here. So that's what those are for. That's pretty sweet. I like this already. I, I, I uh, love, I love the, this is like, these and these are my favorite parts of the components so far. But all the, all of them have different symbols on them for the different like attribute type things and they have a like a one point side and then they have the little symbol side on it and I think those are worth two points if I'm not mistaken then you've got some cool ones that do special things because they got the dots on them um, you've got your basic ones which are like this they just have one and a blank but yeah so cool ah, I love this and I love the tray that's in it this man <laughs> There are That's, plenty of big companies out there that really need to take notes right now on uh, yeah, how, how to do a game, like packaging. <laughs> well, I mean, just the concept. You're casting runes. Which is super cool. And me being a big Norse person, I like runes. I mean, I, that just takes me back to like the 13th Warrior where you had the, uh, I forget what they call it, but the uh, prof, uh, Prophet. Yeah. Yeah. And she cast the runes. That was really sweet. I loved it. Okay, so you've got cards over there. Yeah. Quality. Uh. <laughs> cards. Ba uh, I, I basically, like these. cards. Yeah, they're cards. But okay. no, but you said the quality, and so that I, quality is in production. Uh, I like them. Standard card stock. You know, I definitely am gonna want to sleeve these though. Because they feel really nice. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about. They're very smooth mm -hmm. and soft. They feel soft. That's a nice... Yeah, it got a flex. But I, I like the cards. Uh, these might be a little bit more difficult to find sleeves for because they're very large. These look like they're standard size cards. So these would be easier to find sleeves for. Will you open those for me, please? I uh, sure will. Alright, so we've got... I'm not sure what these cards are. They have skulls on the back of them. I did not see those in the How to Play video. So, not sure what those do. But, you've got your hero and anti-hero stuff. Looks like they're all mixed up in here. So, you might need to do a little sorting when you first get it. Uh, that's but yeah, your hero cards have this symbol on the back, and I think they're called anti-hero. And I apologize if I get some of this terminology wrong. We've not played this game yet, so this is literally an unboxing. Yeah, so. but yeah, so far I'm seriously digging the components to this, and I love that like the cards that you're. I like the art too. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, the art is absolutely gorgeous. Very fitting. These might be the solo play. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's a very gorgeous picture there. Um, Just to show you what I was ooing about. I like that. Yeah, all the art on all the cards is just amazing. I love it. Mm. Alright. Yeah. Now, there should be... Yeah, here they are. That's what I was looking for. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so these are your hero's destiny cards because they're red and they go with like the third act. But it's, huh, I saw, I love this picture. It's the Paragon of Light picture. Absolutely gorgeous. The, the artwork is stunning and breathtaking on these cards. It's epic high fantasy mm -hmm. artwork. And I just absolutely love it. So these are like what your hero would turn into of a hero or villain, uh, whichever way you went. All right. Uh, this is their motivator, I believe, which is the back of this card. So like uh, a vow of vengeance, you know, motivates them to become an intrepid explorer. Uh, to touch on something you just said, right quick. Uh, that's when she showed me the game, something that caught my eye was the fact that you could play as a hero or as a villain. It just, it is you know, I love just yeah. to have that option there. And then uh, this is where you start out 
your very first card. So you're either a squire, a sailor, a farmer, whatever you start as. And then you, it, I love the art on the back of these because it starts with a fledgling tree that so grows well. a little bit bigger and then it becomes a tree. Oh, so yeah. great uh, differentiation. I can't talk today on the back of those. Uh, and they also match the first, second, and third acts. The colors and the, and and whatnot on those. So, yeah. Wow. I want to play this game. Uh, so do I. Like, and I I'm not, uh, full disclosure, I'm not a big board game person. I will play. But, uh, just uh, reading off the box, I was instantly kind of captivated and I, I actually told Miss DDK here that I wanted to play. Which surprised me because he never wants to play anything. But yeah, here's the uh, experience tokens there. You start off with three of those. Blood boobies. Yes. And it looks like uh, the insert is well done because everything has its own place. But the only thing I'm concerned about looks like it might not be a concern because I just tried to put these cards back in there and there's enough space for sleeves. Ah. Yay. All right. You know what? I just thought of something. Seven Wonders cards might fit these, or sleeves might fit these. I'm going to have to try that. But anyway, uh, Brotherwise, great job on the components. Components are fantastic. I'm impressed. I am too. And I think we're about to play a game. <laughs> All right, folks, until next time, board out, game on.